What's up guys, Collector B here. We are back with another toy haul. It is Sunday. It is beautiful outside. Got a little red yesterday from the sun. Having a great weekend and we found some cool stuff. Well, we only found one thing and then we got some other stuff in a mail call. So that's super cool. So uh, if you are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost to 800 subs. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Let's get up to 800 and we're getting closer to 1,000. That's the goal. So uh, again, thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. And let's get into it. So we've got some Power Rangers and we've got some McFarlane. But first I wanted to talk about something else. So I did finally watch The Batman last night with the wife. She fell asleep, so she's going to say it sucks. Um... I don't really know how I feel about it. There was a lot of things I did not like about it. Um, it was okay. I really don't understand people saying, you know, how amazing it was. No, what I... were you watching? Because it was by far <laughs> the least I... amazing Batman I've ever seen. I didn't think it was that amazing, honestly. I really didn't. Um, honestly, the parts I didn't think I would like, I did like. And then there was just a whole bunch of other stuff I didn't like. So you guys will have to let me know uh, if you guys liked it or not. It was okay. I don't think it's better than a lot of the other Batmans. So uh, let me know. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Why or why not? Because I would like to talk about it. But, you know, for all, I don't want to ruin it for everyone who hasn't seen it yet. But, um, yeah, I, I wasn't that impressed. So Let's just say the Scooby-Doo gang is better detectives than <laughs> this Scooby Batman. The Scooby-Doo gang. Mr. <laughs> Jankies. I don't know. She says Jankies. It's not Mr. <laughs> Jankies. But... Anyways, let's get into the toy haul. I just wanted to say that. Um, so, yeah. So, Ninjetties, man. Oh, this has been a hot item this week. So, we have the White Ranger Ninjetti from the movie. Also, I believe it was one of the seasons they were Ninjetties in. But, man. So, I had this pre-ordered on Target, like most of you, for a long, long time. No idea when it was going to come out. Uh, and we go to Target on, was it Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday. And we walk in, and there was at least 10 of these guys on the shelf. At least 10. Now, I did pick up two of them um, because I do like to open. I didn't realize this was messed up anyways okay because i do like to keep one open uh and i do like to keep one boxed now i had to look through all 10 just to find decent paint apps i mean they were bad and i'm hoping it's really just the white ranger that's like this because he is all white but when i say bad i mean they were just it looked like literally somebody was smoking buy the figure and then put it in the box because the white was just all that yellow all over Every face sculpt I saw had like a blue mark or a black mark or something. They're just really, really bad. So we did pick these up from Target. Um, I did, of course, that day as I picked them up, get an email from Target. Oh, your pre-order shipped for the White Ninjetti. So I did get one from pre-order as well. Now, I was kind of scared after seeing it because you want to talk about paint apps. So here is the one that I got from target.com as you can see if you can see the white on his chest has that yellow discoloration there's marks on the faces this one's not nearly as bad as a lot of them i saw at target but you can see that the coloring is just way off so like i said hopefully it is just the white ranger like this because he is all white but they were pretty bad so not sure what i'm going to do with this one maybe we'll open it and paint him green and make a custom even though this will be incorrect um but yeah just the if you guys do find these check out the face apps because they were pretty bad i mean like i said i had to go through eight well eight of ten of them were pretty bad so but i am super excited to get this i did not think we would find it in store so it is pretty cool uh the weird thing is the next day we went back and this target's been redoing um their whole store and none of the Power Rangers stuff was out. So I'm like, okay, we'll go back the next day. We went back the next day. No Ninjetis. Now, maybe somebody bought them all. Maybe. 
I highly doubt it because again, the pain apps on a couple of those were really, really bad. Um, so I don't know if they just put them back in the back again or what, but we are definitely going to go back there. I'm destroying this box and, uh, see if we can find some more, maybe the pink one. Cause I did only find Tommy at that Walmart. So target. Oh yeah. Jeez. At target. Sorry. So here he is. I've been waiting for these for a while. I love the Power Rangers movie, so the Nijetis are fantastic to me. This one is not too bad. Uh, paint is not perfect, but the faces are pretty decent, and he doesn't look crazy color yellow. Uh, so this is another hot topic that everybody's been talking about. Hasbro is now redoing the boxes on Marvel Legends, and I'm sure Power Rangers to wear you won't be able to see the figure because they're taking away plastic. Whoo, man. So those face paint apps and body paint apps, you're not going to be able to check them anymore. Also, figure swappers, they can pull that out, put it back in, and you have no idea. So it's going to be interesting. I'm not a fan that they want to do that because I do like the art on some of the boxes and I do like being able to see the figure in the box, kind of like these guys are. I really like all this art that they have on the side, but they're going to do away with it. So kind of a bummer. Let me know what you guys think about that, because I do really like being able to see the figure in the box. But I get it. A lot of people open. I'm opening, obviously. So let's see what we got here. I'm pretty stoked for this. Um, again, like I said, only found Tommy. Uh, no blue or black, which they actually went up for pre-order first. So kind of interesting. Um, so he does come with flat hands, flat white hands, which is cool. I'm glad they gave him extra, uh, or alternative hands. So, and the hands, I mean, like, that's what's crazy is the paint on these hands looks pretty solid. I mean, they are just completely white, but they look pretty solid. Um, he does come with this effect. Now, the one thing I noticed before I even opened up, the effect is pretty cool. I guess you couldn't really tell what it is if you were, you know, didn't know. But on the box, it's more of a, like, bluish, you know, translucent. And this is just kind of white, which is, you know, that's cool. I don't really care. Um, it's fine. There was a black mark on here, but it did just come off. So that is cool. But this will go on his foot, which is pretty cool. And then you have these alternate head sculpts, which I really like one of these head sculpts a lot. And I'm probably going to put that on mine. Um, so here's the first one I got, um, not terrible. You can see his left eyebrow kind of almost like they didn't finish it, but it's not bad. Like I said, I did see some with big marks all over the face and they were really bad. One of them looked like he lost an eye, like Goldar poked his eye out or something, but that actually doesn't look too bad. I do like that face sculpt. Um, it's pretty much almost exactly like the release of the Green Ranger one they did um it's it's not bad though it looks good whoa, whoa okay even his hair did you see his ponytail let's see how his much ponytail. white is in his ponytail wow yeah yeah they did I, I don't know if they rushed these or what but like there's definitely miss paint all over but as long as the front looks okay i'm all right with it the headband Definitely has hair bleeding into it here and there. And like she was saying, white into the hair as well. It's not terrible though. Um, it's interesting that this one comes with a separate piece here, which is kind of cool here. Um, but I really like this face sculpt. This is probably my favorite where you have the hood, but you can see more of his face, which is really cool. I really like that face sculpt. Um, there's a little black mark on it, but again, not nearly as bad as some of the ones I have seen. So I will take it. I'm good with it. I think that's probably the face sculpt that I am going to use, though, because I think it's better than the original one that's on. All right, let's see what we got. The other thing, too, what's crazy is, you know, I looked at all the paint apps um, on these guys, but, you know, you can't see the back of the figure. So, could you imagine if the whole back was just straight yellow? Oh my goodness. So, this one is pretty solid. I actually really like it. His knees are really tight, which is kind of interesting for a Power Ranger. Like, I haven't had a 
Power Ranger figure feel this tight in a long time. So, sorry, I'm just trying to look over paint apps to see, but this one is actually pretty solid. I'm actually pretty happy. Um, you can see, I mean, the paint apps aren't perfect, but there's not bad coloring really all over. I've seen that chess piece just be really yellow. This one doesn't look bad at all. Um, I really do like the details, especially in the arms. You know, the little diamonds and everything look really cool. And then even underneath, you see where, like, he ties that. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little detail. He does come with fist hands, and then you have those alternate hands. Um, his arms bend pretty well. Here's the back. The back, again, not terrible. Um, he's probably going to fall forward. There is some marks on his head here and there. Nothing crazy. Um, and then the legs look pretty good as well. His feet, you can see, they're kind of bowed out. So I'm going to have to mess around with his ankles. I did notice a lot of them in the box. Their ankles were a little messed up. But this one is not too bad. What is nice about this guy, he does have a thigh swivel, which is really cool. So they will be able to bend pretty well. Um, like I said, his knees, for some reason, are pretty tight. But they're not anywhere where I can't like mess with them so you can get him in some pretty cool poses this is kind of weird to me this is like really hard plastic right here and then you just have it you know the disconnect here and here it's not terrible um you know these are a lot smaller than like mcfarland's and stuff so they ain't bad this does not move well you can kind of see you can lift that up and you can just kind of see that joint so that's kind of interesting um uh, but it is connected to here uh, this face sculpt isn't terrible. I don't mind it. I'm just not a huge fan. I would rather see a little bit more of Tommy's face than just, you know, fully covered. So I am going to risk the biscuit. Okay, now that came off really easy. So when you take this face sculpt off, you're going to have the same thing. Here's the head and the face sculpt. And then you have this piece that goes under. So that is pretty cool. I do like that they did that. But I do want to see way do you think this goes should i put this backwards that looks backwards right turn it you would think it'd go um i think so let's see except he don't have it on yeah he does have it on okay. yeah no i think this is right all right so where's the other face sculpt we want this one and there it goes Look how easy that went on. That is fantastic. So what I will probably do is move out uh, one of his hands, if not two, to the flat ones. This is interesting. Is that really how it's supposed to go? Goes. Sorry, guys. I am trying to figure out this effect. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not a huge fan of this effect, but that's how it's supposed to go. I do think that blue translucent probably would have looked a lot better. And I'm not a huge fan of it being an accessory for his leg. I mean, like, I guess it's kind of cool. But, I mean, they stand very well, and you can pose them pretty well. So, like I said, I will probably uh, move these hands out and put some of the flat hands on. But it's not bad at all. Yeah, that's about the only way you can put it on. That's kind of weird. Not a fan. The one thing I did notice, too, is on the feet. Look at that. They have, like, some codes there, some numbers on the feet, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen that before on the feet. So there he is. I like this head sculpt a lot. I actually really like this figure. It is not bad at all. Um, like I said, just be very, very careful when you are going to get one because th some of these face sculpts and some of these bodies are super bad with paint apps. But this one's pretty solid. Why is it not a tiger on his chest? Because in the movie, it's the Falcon Zord. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you remembered watching the movie with me, you would know. He has the Tiger Zord in the show, the Zords all die and he is the falcon zord so that's what Lame. i mean yeah so that's why i'm saying if i did customize the other one green it would also be incorrect because green is the dragon zord but that's what i might do with the other one so there he is i like it i actually really really like this figure i was really disappointed when i first saw them because of the paint apps but it's super solid 
I can't wait to get the rest of them. So let's go ahead and just do the pink one. So the pink one I did not find in store. This is Kimberly. This is not Cat. They did do another pre-order for Cat uh, in Ninjetti as well, but this is Kimberly. Um, I did not find her in store yet, but we did get her from pre-order. Now, this one doesn't look terrible. Um, this was the same pre-order I did with my white one that I just showed you that had paint app issues. And this one so far in the box didn't look too bad. So to me, I think, I mean, the faces are one thing. You may get a bum face and that's going to be a bummer. But I do think just because he is white, they just, I, I don't know what it is. That yellow just came through more. So this one doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty excited. I love that they gave you, though, three head sculpts with these. Like, they could have, if this was McFarlane, this would be a figure, this would be a figure, and this would be a figure. Oh, and then guess what? Now there's another figure with the same head, but now it comes with alternate hands. Oh, and maybe an and accessory. What? You'd probably yeah. still buy them all. You're not wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, but, um, oh, there goes Tommy. Now his paint is messed up. But yeah, so that's kind of, I do really, really like that they gave you a ton of options with these Ninjetis, um, with the faces because everybody's going to prefer their own face sculpt on there and you can throw Tommy's full face on there, but I really like, he's not going to want to stand. I really like the, uh, this head sculpt on him. I think it is fantastic actually so let's do that's probably how i'm gonna put all of them is with those i think i think that like less fully hooded to where you can see their face looks the best but that is me so oh here we go all right so there is kim kim so i really like the pink the pink looks fantastic um i know people had issues with previous pink rangers being a little purple uh, I like purple, so, and they didn't really ever make a crazy purple Power Ranger, so, um, I don't really care, but this pink looks good, and like I said, just looking at her, her face looks fantastic, paint apps on this looks great, I think it looks really good, now we'll figure it out more once we pull her out, but, um, again, she's gonna come with flat hands, it is kind of crazy, they did do a good job, she has much smaller hands than Tommy, which is kind of interesting. So, I hope so. Well, I know, but I'm just saying it's cool to see that they do that. You know, it is really good. Oh, so she doesn't come with another flat hand. Interesting. She comes with this creepy claw hand. Look at that. It's like she's doing the, what's the thing on Kill Bill? The, the oh my God. I can't remember I what it is, know. but pretty cool. Um, her effect piece. Does it go on her foot too? Yeah. It does go on her foot. And again, look, what color is that? Blue. That one's even bluer, you know? And this is white. So your effect piece is not going to be blue. It is a white see-through, which isn't terrible, but kind of misleading. Her foot's barely going to stick in there. Yep. She has tiny feet. So here is Kim's first face sculpt. And see this one? The hair looks great. There's not nearly as many messed up paint apps as Tommy's hair. Um, she's obviously not wearing the bandana there, but, uh, or is she? Yeah. Oh, she is, but her hair is obviously hiding it. It goes not over her hair, it goes underneath. But that face sculpt looks really good. I don't see any bad paint apps on there. Her face looks really good, and it actually kind of looks like her. So that's cool. And then this next one, same thing. Pretty good. So here's the next one again. She comes with this piece. And then here is the ninja mask to where you can see more. And I think that uh, looks really good as well. I don't see really anything wrong with those. So this is really good. I am pretty happy because I was pretty scared when I couldn't find this one yet. And uh, my pre-order came that we were going to get a pretty bad paint apt ones now her arms oof, i'm gonna snap her arms they are tiny i'm not really a huge fan of her arms but we'll see i want to check the paint paint looks good honestly it, this one looks pretty solid show us i will i'm not a huge fan of this head sculpt at all though Really ain't. So there it is. Look how skinny her arms are. I really don't like where it's supposed to connect the elbow to the arm. It yeah, looks, looks totally weird. disconnected almost. I mean, it would look a lot better 
They look a lot better straight, but like that is really kind of weird to me, this whole chunk right here. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but I do think everything else looks great. The symbol on her chest looks really good. Looks like a dying pterodactyl, honestly. But she's a swan. That's a swan. I'm pretty sure it's a, That's swan, a swan in the movie, because it's different. It's not the pterodactyl again. Okay. They're all different in the movie. Sorry. That's why I tried to make you watch the movie. <laughs> I hate You know the black uh, ranger is a frog. Oh yeah. And the blue one's a wolf. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The red one's Sorry. a gorilla. My bad. Yeah. So that's a swan though. I think it's a swan or it's a crane. Sorry, it's oh, a crane. That makes sense. That's what it is. So crane. Like, Sorry guys, uh... crane. But yeah, so it's different. So um I do think the figure looks really good though. It every paint app on this one looks really good. I'm not a huge fan of these head sculpts, so I will say these are not my favorite at all. I get they're trying to make them look more ninja. Um, but I just I don't know. So she's not bad. Um, let's see how. Okay, her knees bend pretty good. Um, kind of crazy though. You lift this up, look at those joints. So you can see those very easily. Now she'll be able to move very well. She also does have the thigh swivel. Um, I mean, you can see you can get her in some pretty decent poses. But these arms, I'm pretty scared of these arms. These are pretty thin. They do have good motion. Um, but again, like I said, when it's bent like that, it just looks kind of funny to me. It's not the best. But we're going to do the same thing here. Because, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of these head sculpts. And again, do you see how easy these come off this... Everyone who tells me to heat up my figures, man. I saw you heat it up. Oh, give me that, yeah. <laughs> so there's her head sculpt, a little bit closer view of this one. Uh, like I said, I just, it's, I'm not a huge fan. That just doesn't show enough for me. It just looks a little funny. So we're gonna do this one for sure. It went on. Usually you hear the pop, you know, and it didn't. So this goes on her foot as well. Interesting. Oh, that's her, like, praying mantis hand. Crane. Uh, Duh. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Oh, my gosh. I got gotcha. you. So let's, let's put her crane <laughs> hand on. <laughs> Is that even the right hand? Yeah. So we're going to pose her like they did in the box. Rah! So there she is. Now let's see if we can actually get her to... Ooh, almost. Maybe. Look at... Oh, I had her. I totally had her standing, and now we ain't going to be able to do it. I knocked it over. Hold on, guys. I do want to see. It's going to be off balance. Yeah, I know, but I had her. No, you didn't. Okay, anyways, so there is her crane hand. So not bad. I do really like this face sculpt a lot better, which is definitely one reason why I did want to open these. Um, again, these effects are not anything amazing to me. I'm not a huge fan of them. It is a nice little effect to have, but um, yeah, nothing crazy. And her arms, yeah, those are... Those are kind of weird to me. I don't know how I'm going to pose her, but there they are. You can see the height. She's a little shorter, but they're about the same height. She's just skinnier. So there you have it. Again, I will say Kimberly's face sculpts are much better. And definitely, if I had an extra pink ranger, I would probably put that head sculpt on it. Um, not bad. I do really like the Ninjetti figures overall. I can't wait to get the rest of them and finish them. So, But it's like their thighs and legs are the same size. They only did, like, upper body Well, they're body all difference. skinny, Allie. They're all skinny. Okay. Okay. Anyways, okay. it's because she's a crane, Allie. Just she said skinny legs. That's true. So, that's our Power Rangers for today. Um, like I said, I do have the black and the... Well, actually, I have the rest of them pre-ordered, but who knows when those are going to come out. So, keep checking your targets. I'm sure these are going to start popping up. Hopefully, there's multiple there, so you can check on the white ones. Uh, you know, paint apps and stuff like that. So... The last thing we got, um, I also did not find this in Target, but my boy Ryan, again, 
Help me out here. Shout out to Ryan. Shout out to Ryan. He found me Superman of Earth 3 Crime Syndicate. So, this is technically Ultraman. Um, if you've read the comics, you know that whole thing. And if you haven't, you should definitely go check it out. Oh, April just fell on her head. Okay, so, but honestly, when I first saw this pop up uh, for pre-order on Target, I didn't do it. The only thing really I wanted out of this was Starro. I am so excited that they're doing a Starro Build-A-Figure. I mean, I would rather a just Starro by himself so I didn't have to buy all the figures. Ew, that's but... what they're doing? So you have to wait like three months in between yep. to get they the did whole... Possess. I was going to get there. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted Starro. Now, what she's talking about is if you look on the back, there is dates of when the rest of the wave will come out. They it did is this. April with the Batman Beyond wave, and it took forever for the Joker bot to come out. Um, I didn't really want the Joker bot, so I didn't really care, but Starro, man, like I said, I wasn't initially going to get this figure um, or keep this figure, but I did really want the Starro piece, but now when this figure came in, wow, it looks really good. So we're going to open this up, and I'm going to really see how I feel about Ultraman. Um, the rest of this wave, like I said, it is question marks. If you know who this is, you probably know who's going to be in the rest of the wave. My dog is whining like a little girl right now. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for those because I can't wait. Sorrow, oh, come So on. we'll see Starro built by December, hopefully. December 2027. <laughs> yeah pretty much so kind of annoys me that todd does that but that's okay i'm just happy for starro coming holy heck that's this... a long case. yeah that's big i didn't realize that so uh the card is the same obviously as the picture and god i just starro is awesome i loved starro in the comics um you guys have probably heard me when i talked about suicide squad a little bit starro 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 i love starro so should be a really cool builder figure um so what's cool too what i love 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 that they did and it looks fantastic honestly and this is man this is really good so they give you this starro piece now a lot of people i've seen be like it's supposed to go on their face and yes he does but in some of the comics it goes around their chest and so this is what this is this will go around the chest now what is awesome about this piece not only just the eye but what is cool is look on the inside. Oh, it's of got teeth. It's got the suction cups. It is very detailed, like she said. And you can pull these out pretty well. Now, it's still going to hold its shape. You might, you know, if you bend this out more, it's not going to stay on the figures as much. But really cool. I'm really happy they gave you that. It's just a really cool accessory. And the eye looks fantastic. They almost made these eyes look like T-Rex eyes or Raptor eyes. But I love it. I think it's really, really cool. And this is... I'm just going to be disappointed because I don't have the rest of him. And he is built. Very interesting. I cannot wait to see how the rest of this connects so i do really like the eyes i wish the eyelid moved the texture on it is fantastic it looks really really huh. cool but when you look on the inside oh, of it see my fingers. yeah it's very translucent um and then if you turn it around you'll see i'm very curious how everything connects it's huh. very interestingly made, but what is interesting is you could technically put something in here if you wanted to once you built him. I'm curious how his back is going to be, though, um, if it's just going to be open like that or if the pieces connect to where, you know, you... it's weird. It's definitely weird. You can see how it's supposed to be built. Um, I'm just going to have to see when all the rest of the pieces come, but he should be decently sized. If this is the middle, I would hope they would make the legs at least so he's this tall off the ground, but I really, really like the details in this. I think both of these are very well done, and I can't wait for the rest of that build a figure. Like I said, that was the main reason I really wanted this figure, um, but now, after seeing this guy in hand, I think I'm going to actually really, really like this figure. So, he is zip-tied everywhere in... Uh, McFarland has not gone away with the, the plastic, which is interesting. Um, but Marvel Legends did go up in price, so watch McFarland go up in price. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, he's pretty big, actually. His legs are, his ankles are really skinny. Ooh, man, he is actually pretty dope looking. Okay, so here is Ultraman. Um, I really like it. First of all, I love the face sculpt and I love the red eyes. The red eyes are fantastic. Yes, would I have rather have some accessory laser vision? Yes, but at least he's got the red eyes. Um, he's really tall and he's actually pretty decently big. I'm kind of curious now because he looks so big compared to others. Here is Action Comics Superman. And he is taller. He is taller and he's a little bit wider. And his cape is massive compared to this. So you flip him around, you can see his cape. I really like the style of that cape as well. It like almost goes all the way off to one side, but then hooks on the other side. It's like this one, just way bigger. Um, so there's height comparison, you see, and he's even bent a little bit. So he is very, uh, very tall. <laughs> he is a lot, a little bit taller than Action Comic Superman, which is cool. And obviously it's not Superman, it is Ultraman. His legs do look a little long for his body, don't they? Like, he it just fits. Has a it fits. Short torso. But yeah, but he looks very long in his legs. Um, the cape is very heavy, but it definitely uh, is bendable. Back looks fine. I do really like the suit. The symbol looks really good. I really like this face sculpt. So what's interesting, he's bending almost too good. way too good for me, which is very interesting. Uh, he does not have a thigh swivel. But he will bend pretty well. You don't have much restrictions in the arms. You can get them all the way up, which is cool. Um, and like I said, he is very big. I do really like him. The only thing that would have been better is if he would have came with a flight stand. That would have been really cool because he just comes with a regular stand. Um, I did want to see... Let's see if we can... I don't think that's exactly right. Hmm. You can get this on multiple ways. I'm just curious which way it's actually supposed to go on. I would assume like this. You have a tentacle in the way. So like I said, you could put this on multiple ways. But there he is with it on. It is very big for this guy. So I bet it's a little bit bigger for some other figures. Like this Starro would pretty much engulf a Power Ranger. Like let's. Ah! Kimberly's getting eaten by Starro. So it's really big on these. So it's going to be big on Marvel Legends. Big on um, Power Rangers. But it does fit really well on Ultraman. I just, there's like multiple ways you can put this on with tentacles everywhere. Hmm. Interesting. But pretty cool. I do really like this figure though, honestly. This is a pretty solid figure for Ultraman. And I hope that they do this with the rest of them because there's some really cool guys um, with Ultraman. To collect there we go so there he is and there's starro next to him and then we've got the pink did he just smash starro yeah that's how you kill him you just fall flat on your face and you have i got him maybe not it's like starro just made him heavy can't see because of the cape so there is the ninjetis and ultraman so really cool i really like all these figures i think the ninjetis are super solid um if you get good face apps i don't have really a bad thing to say about them minus kimberly's arms they're okay um but if you get good face sculpt ugh, good paint face sculpt apps and the body face bo <laughs> and the body paint um you'll be good. I think you'll really like them. The accessories are okay. Um, and this Ultraman is solid. I cannot wait for this Starro. This is going to be fantastic. 
And I really hope, though, at least he's a little bit bendable in the be. tentacles. He probably won't be. You're Stiff as a board. You're probably It's going to be hard right. plastic. Probably. And you're it's going to be, be like clay face. I probably will. You're right. So, so don't get your hopes up. But this Ultraman, super cool. I really, really like it. The jetties are awesome. I wish so, his eyes were a little darker red so you could see it better. But I, I get it. Honestly, I wish they were regular eyes and they just would have mm -hmm. given you some laser vision. But that's okay. It looks good. So, so that's all we got for the day. So... Um, again, follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. We'll probably do something here. I don't know what I want to do. Um, and yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And come back next week. We'll have some more toy hauls, hopefully. Actually, I do know I have something coming tomorrow that I'm super excited about. Um, but I hope you guys have a good week. I hope you have a good rest of your day today. Go enjoy the sun if it's sunny by you because, man, this weather's been fantastic out here. And keep hunting. Go hunting. Go look at Target. All three of these should be at Target. Cross your fingers. Um, and yeah, thanks again for all the support. You guys are amazing. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.